Hi, my name is Raj Avyankar. I'm a U.S. patent attorney. Uh, I'm going to answer the question for you today about what is intellectual property and what are different kinds of intellectual property that you can protect in your business. Uh, intellectual property are often known as intangible assets. These are uh, things that you can't hold and touch but constitute unique aspects of your business that can be protected through uh, U.S. and international law. There are four types of intellectual property assets. Um, these are patents, trademarks, copyrights, and trade secrets. Patents is the strongest form of protection. They protect inventions. Uh, trademarks protect slogans uh, or names um, that help distinguish your business or your set of goods and services from someone else's. Copyrights is a protection of the form in which your uh, work of authorship is, is embodied. So for example, um, books, the, the text and writing in books preventing people from duplicating the exact text or creating derivative works is a form of copyright protection. And the last is trade secrets, which are things that you don't tell anybody outside of your organization. So in summary, there are four different kinds of intellectual property assets, patents, trademarks, copyrights, and trade secrets. Patents protect inventions, trademarks protect names and slogans, copyrights protect the actual written text that's part of a work of authorship um, or the, uh, uh, the form in which the, the work of, of expression is embodied such as a performance or a play or music work. And uh, the last is trade secrets. Trade secrets are things that you keep inside your company and, and, and don't tell anybody else and hopefully no one else finds out uh, unless they, they break some confidentiality or employment agreements. So what, are the, what is the right kind of protection for you? Um, generally, if you could keep everything as a trade secret, that's often the best uh, way to, to protect things. It's the cheapest uh, in some sense because uh, no one else, uh, you don't have to file anything, you don't have to tell anybody and you just keep that secret sauce to yourself. Uh, things such as um, the Coca-Cola formula or the Kentucky Fried Chicken recipe. These are trade secrets. Nobody knows exactly what they are and, and how what the, the com chemical composition is. Trade secrets are indefinite in their protection. Um, they don't expire at any time. Uh, but the risk is with trade secrets is someone could independently discover the same idea and um, then file a patent application on it. Uh, one of your employees could perhaps take the trade secret and create a competing company and then you'd have to prove uh, when your uh, invention or your trade secret was uh, first developed um, and that might be a difficult thing to do. Um, the other kinds of protection, patents protect inventions, are things that are useful and um, that, are, that are that take an inventive step to help people um, do something that they've never done before. The test to get a patent is that it has to be brand new, something that no one else has done before. You have to be the original inventor to, to, uh, of the idea. You can't borrow someone else's and try to patent it. And you have to also explain why this invention is not obvious in light of what else exists in the marketplace so uh, and what might exist in, in written literature so that the filing of a patent application is uh, is uh, is a more complicated process but it's also the strongest form of protection for inventions um, particularly uh, patents are not indefinite uh, they have a lifetime when which the government is giving you this monopoly right to practice your invention and that's generally 20 years from the date of filing of your patent application in the United States uh, trademarks protect um, slogans, so um, just do it, Nike, uh, or the actual brand of your business, the name of your business, or your name of your product. And if you believe that's unique enough to distinguish it from others, um, and you want to make sure that builds itself into an asset of its own, uh, U.S. trademark protection is the way to go. Uh, trademark protection, though, uh, has, a, has a different test than patents. Uh, you need to make sure that the, the, th the mark that you're trying to protect is not generic. So it's not you're not protecting the word bookstore and your business is a bookstore. It needs to be uh, somewhat distinctive and it has to ideally, it could be arbitrary, which means it could be made up, but there's a threshold with, with what kinds of marks can be used for certain types of goods. And trademark law is, is primarily a use it or lose it 
policy, you need to be able to use your mark in commerce to really secure the protection as, uh, over the time of its use. Um, copyright law is primarily for the protection of books uh, or literary works or artistic works of expression like music or plays or, or, or movies um, and uh, can be used in the computer and software area primarily uh, because software code can be protected uh, through copyright and it requires a simple registration to the patent office or the, pat the copyright office rather uh, to register your copyright interest but um, that is not actually even necessary. Um, copyright law protects only the actual uh, form in which this uh, work of authorship is expressed. So if you look at the actual source code of a software, if you wanted to prevent someone from stealing that source code and reappropriating that source code somewhere else, the exact same source code, then that uh, it can be protected through copyright. What you cannot protect is the useful aspects of how that software code might work or the business process or the method uh, that that's the result of that uh, that software technology. So that that is the limitations on copyright. So once again, I hope this was helpful. There's four basic types of intellectual property, patents, trademarks, copyrights, and trade secrets. And it's important to identify what are the different kinds of intellectual properties the interests that you might be able to protect in your business so that you can uh, protect yourself against uh, uh, competitive threats and also make sure that you, you build uh, valuable assets in your business. Thank you so much.